Um, Andrew Salou. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sir Mark, and I uh, <coughs> congratulate my uh, colleague and good friend, the member for South Norfolk, on um, an excellent and passionate speech, and I agreed with, with every word um, that he, he said. Um, Sir Mark, I too am a veteran of these debates, and I, I dusted off the speech that I made on this subject, uh, probably in this very chair on the 10th of February uh, 2022, and uh, things are not... Uh, not better, uh, so I'm back, uh, as we all are, and um, uh, you know that is the duty of uh, backbench members of Parliament to speak out on behalf of our constituents. In February 2022, I'd been told a month or two before by NHS England that of the 47 practices, dental practices in my constituency, that six were taking NHS patients. I'm afraid I don't think that was accurate, because it wasn't the experience of my constituents. And when they told me they'd done a search on uh, dentists in my constituency available to take NHS uh, patients, I don't think they'd actually knocked on the door, Sir Mark, and gone in and asked them. I think they had sat and looked at a website and seen what an out-of-date website said. And, you know, frankly, that is not good enough. You know, for a public service, which matters, um, you shouldn't be looking at an out-of-date website and giving members of parliament inaccurate information. And uh, the situation is, uh, is still not better. And um, if we look at the figures from uh, the House of Commons Library brief on uh, the percentage of children uh, who have seen a dentist within the last year, so just before the pandemic in September 2019, it wasn't high enough. It was 58.5%. So just under six out of 10 children seeing a dentist every year. So the pandemic has a lot to answer for uh, in a lot of areas of our national life. And the latest figures we have from the library brief show that in June 2022, that had declined from 58.5%, which wasn't high, high enough anyway, down to 46.2% of children seeing a dentist in the last year. So under half of children in England seeing a dentist every year. We know how important it is for children to see a dentist every year. It's a huge cause of children going to hospital uh, to have teeth taken out and so on. And, you know, regular trips to the dentist, proper prevention, proper brushing could prevent that. And it's not any better with adults either. The same figures for adults going to see a dentist in the last two years. I'm not sure why we give adults two years license measure, two years rather than one year for children but that seems to be what we do. So in September 2019, it was just under half. 49.5% of adults had been to see a dentist in the last two years just before the pandemic, and that has crashed down as well. And now is barely more than a third uh, at June 2022 at 36.9%. So just over a third of adults in England going to see a dentist every um, two Years. So the, 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 there clearly is uh, uh, serious work to be done because oral health really matters. It matters for young children, as I said, far too many of whom turn up in hospital having to have teeth taken out. It is really important that we teach children to uh, brush their, their teeth well. I think we all need to be reminded of that. Uh, it was actually a Radio 4 programme the other day that I was listening to that reminded us that we shouldn't rinse the toothpaste out of our mouth, we should only spit it out. And now you might think that's a rather sort of piffling fact to make, Sir Mark, but actually, if that is helping the nation's teeth to be a bit healthier by leaving the fluoride on our teeth, then actually it's quite important information. So I think, you know, there is a job to be done, actually, just educating the whole nation how to look after our teeth properly. I'm also very passionate about dental care for older people as well, because I think with busy adult social care staff, it can be an area that gets forgotten. Uh, in uh, nursing homes and care homes. I don't think it's always had the priority that it needed. I had a, a debate in the main chamber on this subject a little while ago, and also in domiciliary care as well. And it just does need to be there because it, uh, poor uh, oral health can contribute to a whole host of other problems and make them worse if you have a low level you know, bacterial infection in your mouth because you don't have good, good dental hygiene. So we really, really uh, do need... Uh, to, to get this right. Now, I was um, very taken with my honourable friend's uh, suggestion, in fact, the intervention during, during his speech from our, our other honourable friend, about um, NHS dental students giving some time to the NHS. I think five years was 
suggested. Now, I'm conscious that unlike me, when I went to university, there are grants and students leave with quite a lot of uh, student debt. But I think there is a, you know, there is something we could and should do there, because if you're training to be a doctor, you're training to be a dentist, you are in receipt of a large amount of taxpayers' money, and I think taxpayers can reasonably ask what they are getting back for a public service, whether we could do something on the amount of debt they have, Samar, whether we could vary or pause the interest rate or something if they gave those five years to the NHS. I think that would be worth looking at, and I think it would make a significant difference if there was a, a, a greater supply of um, dentists. So I, I come back again to say that the situation is not as I would want it to be. I want my constituents to be able to get to see a dentist uh, easily. Um, I did speak to the minister before the debate. I know that the government is earnestly working on this uh, and will come up with a, with a plan in the next few months. And I have to say, sparing his blushes, I have particular confidence in this minister because he has been incredibly helpful to me on uh, general practice provision uh, within my constituency. I think he is an outstanding minister, if I can say that, while, while sparing his blushes. Uh, highly intelligent, who really does the detail and delivers and asks the questions that need to be asked. So I do have hope and confidence in him, but I say to him, as I think all his honourable friends uh, will say to him today, this is urgent. It matters. Please deliver. Deliver properly and deliver quickly.